He Week 2023 is here. We're gonna make some spicy dishes all week long. We know all about that. Past couple years, we've also started to make a rub and a sauce every year. So we did Lauroy's last year. We're running it back again this year. That's the spicy seasoned salt. Basically seasoned salt with a little bit of habanero powder, cayenne, some other stuff in there too. And this year we're making a hot sauce. We're making a black hot sauce. It's called Incursion of Flames. And it's going to be so spicy and so black and so intense. We've got a bunch of chili powders here, jalapeno powder, habanero powder, cayenne. It's based off of a recipe that we used to make when we used to do crunchy tacos on the food truck. Brad used to sit here, not in this kitchen, in the other one, fry up taco shells. We would stuff it with barbacoa, make a little taco sauce. And now we're making that, but we're making it spicy. Tomato paste, water, vinegar, all of our spices. It comes together really quickly. You can make it at home or you can just buy it online from us. Happy Heat Week. It's about kind of building flavors and layering flavors. And it's also, it's about layering spice and heat as well. We need certain things. We, we, we need a viscosity, right? Which we achieved initially with the water, the tomato paste. Uh, the vinegar is going to help the acidity. So that's like, you know, we're all talking about seasoning now. Seasoning, not flavor. Flavor is like olfactory. It's stuff you smell. I'm talking about seasoning, things that you taste with your tongue. So salt, sugar, acid, bitterness. Seasoning the sauce is like salt vinegar that you know and that's kind of balancing one thing out that's like one axis another axis is the flavors starting with just kind of like a base of like mexican food hot sauce or just like kind of you know what we want from this hot sauce garlic onion cumin those are all pretty basic and then we have a little bit of ancho powder chili powder and that's going to kind of give it a depth of flavor that is a dried chili and then we also have cayenne jalapeno habanero. So those are the kind of three of the chilies. Those are gonna be the different spices. Habanero is just super, super hot. Jalapeno is gonna be hot up front and cayenne is gonna be kind of hot on the back. And they all taste super different. Habanero is really fruity. Jalapeno is really like green and grassy. And then the cayenne just tastes like, I mean, like a dried red chili. So it's all kind of different and complex, but kind of starts with like different sections that you just build from. All right, first thing we're gonna do is get the kind of base sauce together. So I've got a bunch of water here, five and a half gallons. Got tomato paste in there already. Oh God, pouring. Five and a half gallons of water, seven and a half quarts of tomato paste. Then we're gonna go with this vinegar, three gallons of that. This is gonna be like a hot sauce, right? So it's gotta be tangy. So we're going in with a lot of vinegar. Also, if it's gonna be on the shelf, it needs to be pretty acidic. So after I make all this sauce, I will give it to Nathan. He'll bottle it and label it, and you'll be able to buy it at the food truck and online. So that's the idea with the Heat Week sauces and rubs, is that it's a vintage 2023, is what this sauce is. All right, boat motor. You can see we already have a pretty good viscosity here as far as the hot sauce goes. So now we just add spices. That's pretty much it. Kind of see it. It almost looks like hot sauce, just like Frank's hot sauce, right? Ancho powder. Cayenne. Jalapeno powder. We need four pounds. This is a four pound bag. Oh yeah. Jalapeno business. Habanero powder. Heat week, told the story before, but I'll tell it again. You know, that first year we were out there in the food truck, no AC in the truck, no relief from the heat. Also, we were really slow during the summer. You know, we're slowish now during the summer, but nothing like that first year. Nobody wants to come out in the heat. And I had also recently watched an episode of No Reservations where Anthony Bourdain goes to India, somewhere in India. And one of the people he was with, they were eating really spicy food. He was saying that the reason they eat spicy food in India is because it makes them sweat and that cools you down. So you eat spicy food, you sweat, you cool down. So I kind of a light bulb went off in my head. We were also inspired a little bit by the torchies 
some like it hot thing where they do like spicy tacos, different one every week during the month of August. The idea was to do five spicy specials, one for each day of a week. And if people came every day of the week to eat the spicy special, that would get people to the truck five days in a row. I mean, more than they were coming before, right? And that's pretty incredible. If you can get somebody to your restaurant five days in a row, I've never been to a restaurant five days in a row. That's kind of how we came up with it. We do spicy specials. Uh, you know, we've had people who have done it every single year. This will be the, I guess the fifth year, right? Wow, or six now? I don't even know. We didn't film the first few, or the first like two. So I think this is the third one we, would have, we will have filmed. So it's just part of life now. Actually, 2020, 21, 22, 23. So this is the fourth one we filmed. That's a lot. That was salt. I put the salt in. Kosher salt, diamond crystal, the good stuff. Now we got cornstarch. This is kind of a thickener, homogenizer. Cornstarch is just going to thicken it a little bit. It really went in the air. Three pounds each. Granulated garlic, granulated onion. Cumin, two pounds. Okay. Boat motor. This thing is huge and heavy. Just gotta be patient and mix it all up. Another thing about Heat Week is you don't wanna get this stuff on you because it's fucking hot and it will burn your ass or your eyes or your skin. A little bit thicker than Tabasco is kind of what I want. Tabasco, I think it's a little thin. I kind of want to taste this before we add the charcoal to make it black. How spicy it is. Yeah, that's a good uh, consistency though. I think that's what we want. Definitely needs more salt. It is hot. But it's palatable. It just needs more salt. It's not salty enough. I mean, it's about balance, right? To balance it, you have to, I think it has to have the right texture. It can't be like too thick. It has to have enough acidity too. Okay, activated charcoal. Now that is a black hot sauce. down low. Yeah, like that. Red stuff down there. Another taste test. This is the final product. It's nice and black. That's really what we want. It's got a good consistency too like that oh yeah oh yeah I mean the heat is not out of control it's really good it's just good I mean it's just good sauce it's well it's well balanced We got about 20 gallons of brutally hot black sauce or black hot sauce. Incursion of flames coming at you this heat week. We are gonna send this to Nathan. He's gonna bottle it, label it, and then we'll put it up on the website and everybody can eat it at home and burn your butts.